In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. That when the Messiah comes, the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the lame will walk, and the eyes of the blind will be opened. The dumb will sing joy. Songs of joy is a standard prophetic utterance. Jesus' public ministry consists of exactly what Isaiah prophesied. In today's gospel, we will see Jesus curing the deaf and dumb man. The man's friends bring him before Jesus and they implore him to cure him. Jesus obliges and the cure takes place. The community is delighted and there is spontaneous outbreak of joy. Do we thank God for the saving experiences in our lives? Do we attribute these acts to God? And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us recall to our mind the times we have failed to thank God for all the good things that God does, the saving experiences God does in our lives. Sometimes we may have not attributed it to God, but attributed it to our own selves, like our achievements. So let us see the hand of God in every saving experiences that we have experienced. And for having failed to see the hand of God, let us humbly ask God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have failed to in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed man of my virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Today's Mass is offered in Thanksgiving 49th wedding anniversary of Nivet and Maureen, offered by Jonathan, Crusto and family. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive through freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Say to those who have an anxious heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap like a deer, and the tongue of the mute sing for joy. For waters break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm. My soul give praise to the Lord. Please repeat. My soul give praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who preserves fidelity forever, who does justice to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. Your response. My Lord give praise to the Lord. The Lord who opens the eyes of the blind the Lord who raises up those who are bowed down. It is the Lord who loves the just, the Lord who protects the stranger. Your response, my soul give praise to the Lord. The Lord upholds the orphan and the widow, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, the God of Zion from age to age. Your response, my soul give praise to the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your assembly and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in and if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say you sit here in a good place while you say to the poor man you stand over there or sit down at my feet have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts listen my beloved brothers has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Returning from the district of Tyre, Jesus went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee, right through the Decapolis region, and they brought him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech. And they asked him to lay his hands on him. They took him aside in private, away from the crowd, put his fingers into man's ears and touch his tongue with spittle. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed, and he said to him, Ephatha, that is, be open. And his ears were open, and the ligament of his tongue was loosened, and he spoke clearly. And Jesus ordered them to tell no one about it. But the more he insisted, the more widely they published it. The admiration was unbounded. He has done all things well, they said. He makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak. This is the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, during the World War II, a popular pianist from Poland, Marta Korwan Rhodes, during that time when Warsaw was bombarded, there was great destruction of both life and property. So horrible. Stay up and help the wounded in the crowded hospitals instead of fleeing to safety. She said to her, if these hands can produce harmony from the keys of piano, then surely God can use them to comfort and reassure a person in extreme pain. Gently place her hands on his forehead and earnestly prayed over that soldier who was sobbing. O oh God, help this man, for he is in pain and misery. Give him your comfort and peace in this moment of trial. And the man sobbing stopped and fell into peaceful sleep. So there was a change. Was it Martha's kindly touch? Or was it God reaching out to him in distress? through Martha, or combination of both. And today's cure of the deaf and the mute, God's marvelous love and healing power are normally channelized through cooperation of people who serve as visible and effective channels. God needs us to reach out to people so that in and through us can experience his compassionate love and healing powers. So my dear friends, today's liturgy also reminds us that all things come from God. Every gift comes from God. And we see in today's reading, the first reading, we see the Messianic times. And the Messianic times speaks about look, your God is coming. Vengeance is coming. The retribution of God is coming to save you. 
and as a messianic terms the eyes of the blind shall be open the ears of the deaf unseen then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy for water gushes in the desert streams in the wastelands and the scorched earth becomes a lake and the parched land springs of water so there is a change here also and that change only god can bring in so the same messianic times which has been described in the first reading the prophecy of isaiah has been fulfilled in jesus christ in the gospel we see he makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak how he puts his ears his fingers in his ears and his spittle on his mouth and says ephata be open at that moment the ears open and the tongue loosen and that person was healed so we see both the readings speaks of similarities what god has said through isaiah has been fulfilled in jesus christ in the gospel today and in the second reading we find saint james telling us don't make distinctions between classes of people a man rich man come well dressed with gold and a poor man comes with shabby dress don't treat them with distinction treat them equally well so this is how sometimes we make distinctions we make favoritism and in this way we turn ourselves into judges and corrupt judges at that it was it was those who are poor according to the world that god chose to be rich in faith and to be heirs to the kingdom which is which he promised to those who love him my dear friends today's day or today's sunday is dedicated to the girl child we have to adopt whatever god gives the child whether it is a male or female without any distinctions without any favoritism to accept it and especially the girl child as we see today's world the girl child is rejected so today's liturgy also reminds us to accept whatever good gift god gives you whether it is a boy or a girl without any distinction to adopt and to save the child this is what we have a message from today's readings today also we celebrate teachers day we remember our teachers we thank god for all the teachers who have taught us and have made us what we are today but at the same time the lord wants us to be teachers to one another a teacher teaches not only teaches but by her behavior also he gives he becomes she becomes or he or she becomes an example to us through her good words through her good actions and good deeds she becomes an example to each one of us so let us be good teachers to one another by our own example that we show the people how we have to live not only teach but we live by our own example so let us be good teachers to one another teaching is a profession but still we teach not only knowledge but we teach uh, how to be a good person how to be a good citizen how to be a good catholic 
by our own example and by our own words and our own actions. So whatever the Lord gives us, whatever good deeds that He has bestowed upon us, let us thank the Lord, be grateful, thankful to God. And let us use our gifts, our talents for the betterment of our community. So as we see through the community, He reaches out to the poor, reaches out to all those who want God's blessings. So we see how we have to reach out without any distinction, without any favoritism, that we reach out to those who are in need. As the pianist has reached out to that soldier through her gentle placing of hand and praying over that person has made that person peaceful. So let in and through us, God may work wonders in the life of others. Let us be our reaching hands to the people who are in need and we bless them. And what God has given us through those gifts, we bless others too. So let us accept that whatever God does, He does in and through us. He can do many things. He can work wonders. He can perform miracles. So let us have this faith in God that He is the one, the all that He does good should be attributed to God Himself. But in and through us as channels of doing good. He can, through us, he can do all good things in and through us too. So let us ask the Lord to bless all of us. And whatever the blessings he gives us, he gives them. And through these blessings, he blesses the community. Let us all stand and profess our faith in one God. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered in the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. There is come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Ephata, which means be open is the cry of Jesus as he healed a deaf and dumb man. At this cry, the man is healed instantly. That is, he is able to hear and speak. That we too may approach the Lord and that we too may be open to the realities around us. Let our response after each petition be, Lord, hear our prayer. Please repeat. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy and the religious, that as leaders in the church, they may be attentive to the needs of the people, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all sorts of discrimination still very much alive in our society, such as discrimination on the basis of color, creed, language and culture may be removed from wherever they hold sway. We pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That the differently able, such as people suffering from deafness, dumbness, blindness, may be educated and provided with occupation, that they will be pro will provide sustenance. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That Christians may stand against the evil of our times, such as child labor, human trafficking, discrimination against women, so that such things may be removed from the face of the earth. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For the elderly, who with the advancement of age become weak in seeing and hearing, slow in speaking and understanding, that they may be shown appreciation for the life they have lived and the examples they have set. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus, who showed no hesitation to put his fingers into the ear of the deaf and touch his tongue. For him, every person is precious and a child of God. Give us the grace that we too may not despise or belittle any person. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. 
And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, soul of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapo said it, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also the brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and Joseph was, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
Aloti thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say, Lord, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life. Through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Kindly be seated. I thank the Liturgical Committee of English Group for organizing this Mass. On 8th will be the Feast of Our Lady, Birth of Our Lady. We'll be celebrating in the evening. Mass will be at 5.30. Before that, Holy Rosary will be there. And also, Catechism for the Confirmation children have started. Those who have not registered, please register their names. And from Sunday onwards, after the Mass, we'll be having Catechism for the Confirmation group only. Since their Confirmation is approaching, we have to prepare them spiritually. Stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord.